Okay, so you have to drill a hole oops, next to another hole, but it's not in the middle of anything. It's kind of on the side of something. All right, so this is what you do. You get your, your drill press. Hopefully, if you have one of these, I think you can do it with a regular, regular drill press also, but I've got this at home. This is actually only a drill press head on it, but I was able to, to get this thing on Amazon, a three-jaw truck, and I can put damn near anything in it. So anyway, um, the trick to drilling a hole next to a other hole is, is an end mill. And so all you have to do is clamp this thing down and spin it. And it will drill a hole on an edge of something or right next to another hole. If you need to move something over just a little bit, this works too. You want to make sure you're really on your mark. This is the part you don't need to be in a hurry for. Safety goggles and fire away. <laughs> Okay, so I got this phenolic spacer. The problem is, is it's going on a, on a Studebaker. And I've got the Phytech fuel injection system on there. I think it's getting a little hot with the iron manifold and everything. So I just want to put this little, little spacer on here. Give it a little more plenum volume also. But anyway, you can drill those suckers out with an end mill and not point a drill bit. And get whole sets of them pretty cheaply i think on amazon they're less than 100 bucks thank you for watching please subscribe thank you bye